Uh, what's going on people so we've got the staking tutorial i'm going to go over everything that i'm staking why i'm staking it how to stake it i'm also going to give you a little tool at the end where you can check your airdrops and look for other airdrops as well so 95 percent of my staking capital is within the cosmos ecosystem I'm definitely a cosmos maxi i love the ui i love the way all of the l1s can interact there's a ton of airdrops that come to Cosmos stakers because of the amount of L1s at launch. And um, also, obviously, the gas fees are super low. It has definitely been the right move so far. There have been some nice airdrops that have come. So, um, yeah, let's go through these. All right, so first we have Atom. Atom, for me, is a must. Nearly all of the L1s that launch within the Cosmos ecosystem that do airdrops airdrop atom stakers so you have to have atom as part of your staking strategy that in itself is a five billion market cap i think that it could do a two to four x it could go 10 15 20 billion in this um, bull cycle maybe more so um, obviously not huge amounts on atom itself but there's huge potential with the airdrops dimension was a big airdrop celestia injective so yeah, you have to have Atom in that staking uh, portfolio. And if you wanted to stake it, what you would do is buy it from whatever exchange you use and then send it over to your Kepler or Leap Wallet. And then you can stake it directly from the Kepler um, or Leap Wallet. Or you could go to the Leap uh, dashboard and then you would go to the stake tab, use your validator and stake your Atom. So when it comes to staking with validators, you want to try and choose outside of the top 20. A lot of projects only reward stakers staking outside the top 20 validators as it promotes de decentralization. The only time you want to be staking with a validator that's in the top 20, 10 is if they have said that they are doing an airdrop. For instance, Prism is doing an airdrop. They have stated that if you stake with their validator, you will get the airdrop. Obviously, that's going to push it up into the top 10 as everyone runs to stake with it. Um, but that's the only time you want to stake with a top 10, 5 validator. And you always want to leave some of your tokens in other validators outside of the top 20. You're choosing validators as well that you choose ones with 5 to 10% commission. Don't choose any ones that have 0%. I always go for around 5% commission when choosing the validators. When you're choosing validators as well that you choose ones with five to ten percent commission don't choose any ones that have zero percent i always go for around five percent commission when choosing the validators okay next we have celestia so it's another big project everyone knows celestia it's a little bit diluted there's already been some nice airdrops to celestia stakers but for me celestia is a must they have many projects building on top of them there's going to be plenty more airdrops there is Definitely room for growth with the market cap of Celestia itself. It's currently at around a 3 billion market cap. This could go to 20 billion, if not more, during this bull cycle. So, um, yeah, Celestia is a must. And if you wanted to stake your Celestia, it'd be exactly the same as Atom. You would buy it from your exchange, send it to your Kepler or Leap uh, wallet, and then stake it through the wallets or go to the dashboards and stake it there. All right, next, we have Injective. Injective has run up quite nice over the last week or so. Um, it was about $38 a couple of weeks back. It's now 50 So again, this is another one with a biggish market cap. A lot of people in it, a lot of people staking, but there have not been any big airdrops to Injective stakers yet. They are going to come. So I definitely think that this is one that you want to be staking with. And the market cap of Injective I think we'll do at least a 20 billion market cap through the bull cycle. So there's a nice room for growth there. Injective, I stake it directly through their hub. So you would want to buy your injective on whatever exchange you use, or you can use a DEX osmosis. Yeah, you would come to their dashboard, go to staking and stake. Another thing that you want to make sure you're doing when you're staking is you want to make sure you're voting on all the proposals for every single chain that you're staking with. Um, as sometimes airdrops get given for voting on a specific uh, proposal, it increases your chances overall of airdrops and the size of airdrops. So make sure that you're active, you're coming and checking these every couple of days and you're voting on all the proposals. Gas fees are tiny, so 
it's all good. Make sure you're coming and doing those votes on every single chain that you're staking with. Okay, next is Dimension. So we're dropping in market cap a bit down to just under a billion. Obviously, Dimension is very, very new, launched around a month ago and was a nice airdrop from staking Atom and Celestia. You get a decent amount from that airdrop, a couple grand. I've held on to all of mine and then I've staked most of it. They have over 400 rollups building on top of them. It's very early. I think there's a lot of potential for growth of Dimension. It could do a nice 20X up to 20 billion, 10 to 20 billion. And then we've got plenty of airdrops coming. The first couple have been announced. There's gonna be plenty more. Um, and as it's only a month old, it's nice and early. So I would definitely be getting in with Dimension for the airdrops and for the growth potential with Dimension itself. With Dimension, you can stake directly through the Leap or Kepler wallet. And you can also go to their hub and you can stake it directly on their hub. So we have PIF. This is another must for me. This is the only project outside of Cosmos that I'm staking with, a Solana-based project. So um, yeah, I wanted to make sure that I was in Solana and opening myself up to airdrops within the Solana ecosystem and PIF itself, I think, has a lot of potential. It has run up quite a bit over the last couple of weeks. It was around 600 million market cap. It's now 1.3, so it's done 1.3 billion, so it's done a 1x. But I think there's much more room to grow for um, PIF. It could go 20 billion easily. And then there's going to be a lot of airdrops. So many projects use their data and price feeds, um, and no real airdrops have yet come to PIF stakers. I think the only one that has been announced is the zero lend airdrop for stake and PIF. So there's going to be plenty to come. Obviously not under the radar. I have got a couple under the radar projects, um, but these ones so far, even though they're not under the radar, I think that they are just, you have to be staking with them. And when it comes to the amount that you stake with each chain, obviously the more you stake, the better. The more you stake, the bigger the airdrops are going to be typically. Um, but a lot of projects, you only need to be staking one or two um, like the Hydro airdrop for staking with Injective was um, staking a minimum of one Injective, which would have been around $30 at the time, $35. Um, so, yeah, I can't give you an exact guide on how much to stake because, you know, they all have different criteria for the amount needed, to for the amount of stake needed to be able to qualify. So I would just stake as much as you can afford to stake and lock that capital up. Remember, with staking all of these, there's going to be a 21-day unlock to get that capital back out. So just make sure that you are all good with it, locking it away and not needing it at any point within the next 21 days. So for staking PIF, what I would do is I would buy it from the Jupiter Dex. Jupiter has only just launched its token and done one airdrop, and it was a big airdrop. I think they still have percentage left for more airdrops. So you want to be getting transactions and volume on Jupiter Dex. So use a Jupiter Dex to buy your PIF, send some Solana or USDT to your Phantom wallet, buy it on Jupiter. And then what you would do is you would go to the stake and dashboard. There's no validators to choose with um, with this. So you just go to the stake and dashboard and you would stake it here. And it takes seven days for it to be recognized on the chains. So we have Osmosis, um, the Osmosis deck. So Osmosis gets a lot of airdrops within the ecosystem, the Cosmos ecosystem. It's the main decks of the ecosystem. So, you know, all of the big chains that are launching that airdrop Atom, um, Stakers and Celestia tend to airdrop Osmosis as well. So it's a must for me. The market cap is 1 billion. It has run up a little bit. Um, it was like 500 million when I first, first started staking with it. Um, the room for growth with this, I would put at a lot lower than the other ones that I've already shown you. This could maybe reach a 5 billion, you know, could could hit 10 billion in the bull cycle. Everything goes crazy. So, um, but, you know, that's still good 3 to 5x, even if it just hits 5 billion. And there will be plenty of airdrops with stake and osmosis. I've had quite a few already. Dimension um, airdrop was for staking with osmosis as well. So for that dimension airdrop, I was staking with Atom, Celestia, Osmosis, and got airdropped individually for all those staked amounts. Stake it exactly the same way you would do with Atom and Celestia. Buy it from your exchange or buy it directly from the Osmosis decks. Then go into your wallets and stake it or go to the dashboard of your wallets and stake it. Okay, now we have our first under the radar project for farming airdrops and it is Kujira. So Kujira is a 500 million market cap. A lot of room for growth with Kujira itself. 
the platform, the chain um, has a USP, it has real yield, there is no inflation, so all the yield comes from the products, the fees from the products on the Kajira chain. So I do think Kajira is going to run hard when it, start, when it starts to run. It's a fairly new chain, only launched last year. Hasn't had really any airdrops yet. There's been a couple of airdrops to Kuji stakers, but there's not really been any yet. Um, and this is not diluted under farm. Okay, so to stake your Kujira, what you would do is you would buy it on the Osmosis Dex, then you would come to the blue Kujira platform and you would go to the IBC bridge and you would transfer your Kujira from the Osmosis chain over to Kujira and then you would go to stake and stake your tokens. All right, and then last but not least is Archway. So Archway is very, very much under the radar. It's only a 10 million market cap, but they have a lot of potential. Obviously, there's a lot of potential with growth with the market cap itself. The USP with the way they reward the developers that build on their chain. Um, so yeah, I think there's a lot of potential. Obviously, this is the riskiest as it may not gain traction. Um, whereas the others, they're all going to do some Xs and they're all going to have decent sized airdrops. Archway has had a couple airdrops. If they get traction and a lot of apps launch on the chain, then there's going to be some nice airdrops and we will be in when there is hardly anyone within this and we will get some big airdrops and then the chain itself will run and we'll get some good Xs on the, on the Archway token itself. So for Archway, what you would do is you would buy it on Osmosis and then you would go to Archway and you would go to their app and then you would go to the bridge and you would transfer it from osmosis over to the archway chain and then you would go to stake and stake your tokens and then the last thing that i want to show you um which is a nice little tool that leap wallet has if you go to the leap wallet dashboard they have an airdrop checker where you can check for your airdrops you would uh, go to the airdrops tab and you would uh fill you would paste your wallet address in here your Cosmos or your Celestia, and then it will show if you're eligible for the active airdrops. And then also what you can do is on the right here, if you go to explore upcoming airdrops, you can look for new airdrops within the Cosmos ecosystem. So um, you go to speculated, and then you can have a look through here and find some potential airdrops that could be coming. I do use this um, to find some airdrops. So we have Berry Chain, um, Espresso, which I've done a video on, Fuel Network, Hyperlane, done videos on, Squid, which I just mentioned, Lava, which I've got a video on. So yeah, that wraps this one up. Leave in the comments what you're staking, if there's any other projects that I haven't mentioned that you're staking that you think are worth a mention. If you've got any questions about any of this, leave it in the comments and I will get back to you. Like and subscribe to stay up to date with the alpha, turn those notifications on, and I will see you in the next one.